Hey, so today I'm just gonna have a little video um, because I went to the store yesterday and we bought some sugar, just sugar. And next things you know, I saved the receipt. Next things you know, there's a discount. And it's exactly $2. Because if you look, two seventy eight seventy eight. $3, they gave you a dollar back. And then we found out. It's because they were short in changes. Or in change. They are short of coins. Uh-huh. Can you imagine? In America. We live in America. And we short in coins. Or is it something else? Are we really short in coins? Or is it something coming? Think about that for a second here. From my point of view, something is coming. Now, here's the thing. In order to make a penny, I believe every 10 pennies, it costs them about 16 cents instead of 10 cents it cost them actually 16 cents it cost them almost 8 cents to make 5 cents and for a quarter it will cost them more now it would depend on them on the metal of course but just make these examples so for a dime they probably cost them like 14 cents to make uh-huh labor packaging and all that stuff that's what's going to end up. So. It is no longer. Valuable. For them to print these. Because they actually lose money. So what they are doing. In the Federal Reserve. They are not printing these out. Why is that? Because like I said. And I stated. It actually costs them more to print these things out. So they are not printing them out. So what happened? Short change. Okay? But here's the funny part. Here's the funny part. Here's what the video is about. We are going to the dollar system. Uh-huh. The dollar system is coming. Because they are forcing us to go into the dollar system. First, they're going to tell us that we are short change. We don't have... They don't have blah, 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 blah. Medals. Can you imagine? Honestly, if the U.S. government... They can print these out like there's no tomorrow. But is it worth it? That's the question. Well, I just said a little bit earlier. It is not worth it. Because in order to print 10 cents, they need about 16 cents. Give and take. A nickel, instead of 5 cents, it costs them 8 cents to make it. And that's what the problem. It is not because they cannot make these. Yes, they can. And they are lying to you. They don't want to do it because them cost them more. So they are not making them. They are not making them because they are forcing us to go to the dollar system. And that's why there's short change. And look at the receipt for yourself. Right above my thumb. I gave them $3. They gave me a dollar back because they're saying short change for 78 cents. Uh-huh. Really? How in the world, Walmart, a big company like this, have short change? Can't be, right? They can just say, well, I'm going to the straight to the Federal Reserve itself. 
I'm not going to any bank. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's because the Federal Reserve is not printing them out. And they're going to say that it's short change or short in change. No. They're not printing it out because it costs them more to print out. That's how it works. And that's what we are facing. We are facing this dilemma because they don't want us to they don't want us to go into counting coins like these anymore because they're forcing us to go to a dollar system. That's what it is. It's not about change. It's not about printing these. It's about forcing us to go into the dollar system. Uh-huh. Here's the thing though. Last tip before I go. Get all your coins. Save them. Okay? Save them. Because someday these are going to be really valuable. I have about, I don't know, few gallons of change. I just threw them all in there since I was a little kid. I have maybe about, maybe five gallons. Five, five gallons worth of coins. I just threw them in there. I just said, you know what? I'm just going to throw all, I'm going to collect all my coins. So I have a lot of them. Now remember, start before I go. Start keeping them, okay? Save them. And later on, give them to your kids. Give them to your grandkids. Because later on, all these are going to be very, really, really valuable when there's nothing left. Well, there's gonna, always going to be some left somewhere. I actually bury some too. Uh-huh. <laughs> Imagine. I actually bury some money. Uh -huh. We bury a whole bag of it when we when when my dad first bought his here's a funny story. When my first uh, my my dad bought his first property and um we had to fix the foundation. So we had to put um cement underneath that. And we dug a big hole because it's in the basement. We have to fix the foundation because it's kind of whoop a little bit. So we dug a big hole. I put coins. I put bags of coins. A huge bag like this. And then I put... I wrapped it all around. So secure. Like bags and bags and bags of it so nothing can go in there. I wish I had these. These are actually... I made these. Um, they call silica gel. I'll link it right up here for you if you want to make these. If you decided to 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 save all your coins, you're gonna to need to make these. So that way you can drop them inside here so it'll be dry. Anyway, I wish I had those when we were doing the foundation. So I actually put a whole container, like bunch them like this in bags of it. And I put it down there before we pour the cement in. So one of the pole in my dad's property had a bunch of coins in there. And I hope someday. People will find it. But anyway, unless they find this video, but they don't know where it is. But anyway, I put a bunch of them in there. And that, I believe, I was I was a kid, you know, so I was just playing around. I was like maybe 10 years old, not even. And that's what I did. So, this, um, it's about almost 10 years ago. So, um, it would be... Um, I don't know, maybe 1990s or 2000s, actually. I don't know. I'm just guessing. From 1990 to 2000 coins, I don't know. They may be even older than that, too. But it was a whole container. But anyway. So if you see this video, save all your coins. Collect them all. Just put them all on the side. Don't, don't, don't trade them in. Just keep collecting them. And then put them in the bags like these or in a container with, with, with silica gel. You don't even have to make it. You can just put it in a container and put silica gel, a bag of silica gel in it. Breathable bag, like coffee bags. And just put it in there. You don't even have to do like what I did. I actually seal it. But you can actually just put them in the bag like these, like the tea bags, and just squish them and tie them in. You don't have to seal like I did. I seal them. See how nice that is? But anyway... Just like that and just drop it in there. That way it will keep everything dry, you know, so it won't get, the moisture won't attack it. And just leave it just like that. And later on, like I said, give it to your kids. Give to your grandkids. You can give to whoever it is or even bury them like I did. But anyway, so that's what this video is about. I hope you enjoy the video. 
And I hope that you're going to go and to take all your coins and start saving them. Because someday it will be valuable. Because I think we are going to the dollar system soon. Anyway, other than that, that's about it on this video. I will see you in the next video.